Good morning, YouTube. Alright, I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown again on how to take out the the transmission mount. Alright, so first step, you know you have to jack up the car, support it with drag stands for your safety. Alright. And after you support it with jack stands for your safety safety yeah, you jack it up two jack stands remove the jack from under there because you're gonna need it right after you support it up here you know you got clips for this plastic piece right here you remove all your clips from right here in the front and set them to the side so you don't lose them what is that I see water does <laughs> yo I have water set it down there yeah as I was saying now uh, after you remove this plastic piece from right here you take out these um 10 millimeter screw one here one here and one there and after you remove them i'm gonna remove mine so you guys could have like a better clearance i'm gonna go for my tool set and remove it and show you guys so give me a second to come back and show you guys when i'm removing it give me a second yeah so back to what i was saying so yeah, you take out these screws and screw thread them Three screws up top. Let's show you guys up closer. I just removed this one from right there. Now I'm removing the second one. You can leave them right there, right there. And then this should come right out. So after that come right out. Oh, I got yeah. You can remove this too. Engine bay cover. I don't I lost one of my screws, so just one right here. A millimeter screw. And it's a short one, so you can't get it mixed up because it's short. And this you can't break it. You just pull it up in the air, pull the other side. That's it. And after you you pull it open, this right here, the grounds. See the 10 millimeter screw. You take it off. You could take it out after, but for this, your for your radiator hose, you have to move it out of the way. And I'm not gonna move mine right now because if you move it, you're gonna lose a little bit of fluid. Remember, I installed mine already, so I'm not gonna remove it. I'm just walking you guys through the step in case you guys want to change yours. So move it. You could bring it all the way, but before look. You're gonna have fluid running out so if you could make some run that like hold the hose down so you run out a little bit not all of it just a little bit so you drain out some if you can't find the drain plug under the bottom for the the radiator you just make some run out you still have to top it up then you set the hose up there because you don't want it to splash all over because i made that mistake mine splash all over the engine over there so after you remove that you you're gonna take out the reservoir too. You get a need uh, a need to nose pliers or whatever you call it. Take this off. If when you move the clip and you don't want to use, you put the pliers here and just twist it. So come off. 10 millimeter screw. Not gonna drain out the fluid. You just set it to the side on the ground. And this crack the bolt here too. After you take off this and pull this to the side. You want as much clearance as possible all right i'm doing step by step and then you come to this side you take all your battery take all your battery set it to the side on the ground all right and after you take all your battery and set it to the side you call this the computer for the the car you have four bolts 13 millimeter socket but if if it's not 13, what you could do before you hit it with a 13 millimeter socket, 
one of the screws. Let me get the camera down there. Four screws, two on this side, and after you remove the battery, you're gonna have two back there. So, and then this will have the place, so you push it forward. Only push it forward when you're trying to remove the fan, though, after you take out the battery. And the fan, you have to disconnect this one. This, these are a flathead or something piney, the clip is right here in the front same thing right here and you can't make no mistake when you're trying to put it back you just see presses I'm gonna show you where the screws at on the fan so you have one where's the little light that I have there's one right there a 10 millimeter screw right there and if you come along at the wire again it should be another one right there 10 millimeter screw once you remove those the fan should move freely but for right here if the wire don't want to move you could break the clip right here so you have more play to move the wire the wire won't touch back the fan this clip could stay right here but for this now it got two screws and they're 10 millimeter you take it off the off the car and set it to the side so you could get the fan out because it was in the way. And after that, you start cracking, cracking the bolts. For that line, go down from this direction so bear with me. all right you see those two screws right there you have to crack those you see that line let's connect this line right here let's connect right there on the um the transmission motor mount this you could use the pliers or pull it because it have like air in it once you connect it it's just suck suck right on the lock right on so pull that off and this is an 18 millimeter um, deep socket the rest of them things like 16 and is the the short one you have three one two three one is all the way in the back when you're doing it you could find it but you have to have a swivel for the one in the back all right and the one in the back is swivel and this is a deep socket up front and after that, remember, you have to pry up the engine. And before you pry up the engine, and before that, you um you pry up the engine first before you open these. Because if you open these, you're going to put weight on the engine. So you have to pry it up first before you open these. But you have to open these in order to start down there. But you could crack the bolts them down there first then you go take out the bolts fully out of this one after you pry it up you get a flat board put it on the oil pan not just the jack because you could damage it because it's metal to metal so get a board jack it up there with the board so right here you got an 18 millimeter um socket bolt right there one right here it's supposed to be three one right there and one right there all right and one all the way in the back where is it so dark in here guys now the, the light is helping a little bit I'm trying to show you guys everything 
it's somewhere back there but once you follow this frame you could find it and these you could crack these too these are 18 mm but don't over tighten them because if you do over tighten them you might crack them you might crack off the arm this they're easy to crack so you can't over tighten them I just use my judgment I don't know how much foot pounds or how much torque that I use I just use my judgment when I'm tightening stuff and you have to move the reservoir for the power steering you get a flathead and put it right behind there this clip right here that clip right there and pry, pry the clip out towards the body of the car and then you pull it up and it should come right out this screw now you have to take it out completely it's an 18 millimeter you could use a, a, sp a spanner for that one or if you have a um socket you could use a socket extension extension socket and ratchet this you could use this the spanner for that one 18 millimeter and then to get this loose and this one you got to take out the bolt fully so the engine have more space to move and then after that it should be it and the same process to put it in back it took me like four to five hours because i was taking my time and it was my first time doing it so if you guys gonna do it it's not a russian process so you have to take your time with it and how to do it like i said if you don't understand or if i was going too fast and if you want me to make over the video i'm here i'll make it over so you guys can see and please don't forget to like subscribe comment drop a comment down below turn on your post notification bell so whenever i drop a video you're the first to see it um i don't think i missed nothing yeah and like i said with the fan you have to take it out so when you're getting out the engine mount that's when the jacks the jack come in you have to take your time and jack it up and watch the screw see that screw the tall one that's up in the air yeah you have to jack it up so you could get it out the groove so you could get out the engine mount and once you get it out there just take your time because if you jack it up hard in the air as you could see go back to the next video and watch and see how i was jacking it up slowly because if you jack it up hard you might damage more engine mount that's not damage and you don't want that on your hands like i said if you don't understand and you want more close-up videos or stuff like that just comment down below and i'm here to show you and yeah that's it take out the front and you got to set it sideways you got to take it from this side the motor mount you have to set it like once you get it out the hole right there you have to set it sideways and pull it up this way it's not gonna go that way which i never try because this is in the way i never try to disconnect my computer I only because i don't want nothing to happen i only took out the screws them and i hope you guys do the same and take it to this side i think that's it so stay tuned for the next video when i'm gonna do the one in the rear i'm gonna show you guys step by step how to do that one so peace out for now